Cuba, it's me. Welcome to episode 258 of The Willu Show, which stands for Wrestling is Life. Life is wrestling. Now, last night was great, and tonight's going to be great. I'm excited, but I'm also a little sad. Tonight's show in Kitchener, Ontario, at the PWA at the Alpine Club, is Farewell to a King. The king we are speaking of, um, Jimmy King. Now, here's a story about a king named Jimmy. Uh, first of all, I want to tell you, there's some other great matches on the card. Me and Lenny Lilac will be in tag team action. And also, um, there's the Golden Ticket Rumble. Uh, whoever wins this uh, Rumble where one after another superstars, superstars come in every minute or so, you have to be eliminated by throwing over the top rope. The last man standing gets a Golden Ticket for a championship opportunity of their choosing in the PWA. Um, there's also going to be uh, Beautiful Bia versus Joey Allen, and which should be a crazy match. Um, I think it's Eric Kearney, Josh Alexander, Reggie Marley in a three-way. And uh, Jimmy King's last match uh, versus the Kato Kiyomiya guy. I'm, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. But man, I'm excited for the show, but I'm also really sad that it's got to end uh, this way for Jimmy King. Um, here's a little tribute for, for me to Jimmy King. I guess uh, I interviewed him on the show, and he started as Jim Fury way back in the day. But when I first met him, I had been out of wrestling for two years, and um, my cameraman started enjoying it. He started playing one of the video games, and we would wrestle on the trampoline, and his friends all liked it, and he wanted cane mask and everything else. So I took him to a show at the Alpine Club, which is ironic, right? And um, I watched Jimmy King wrestle Carlito. And I really liked it. I thought, this guy has got the perfect look. He looks like a wrestler. He's a, he's a good-looking man. And, I'm, I mean, I don't swing my bat that way. I only like females. Nothing wrong with males who like males. But um, I was like, wow, he's built good. He, he moves around good in the ring. Um, he, he's got a nice look to him. And then after the show, the cameraman wanted to meet him. So I asked him if I could take a picture with him and the cameraman. And he obliged, and he was like the nicest guy. And uh, of course, being a wrestler, I had to put myself over. I'm like, hey, I used to wrestle for PWA. And he's like, oh, you should, you should come back. You should try it. And that really meant a lot to me because a lot of guys in the business are like, they don't want competition to come in. They, they, they want to discourage other people from coming in and taking their spot. But I'm like, you know what? I, I am planning on it. So that was the first time I met Jimmy King. And then, um, so I started my return to come back to wrestling. And um, I would always see him in the locker room. At this time, he was doing his uh, tag team with Modern Day Warriors with Derek Platinum. And they were on a heck of a run. Um, they held the tag team championships for quite a long time. Uh, I think they even held them more than once. They won the Carrot Cup by beating three other teams and beating the Young Bucks in the final. And they went through everybody on the PWA roster. They looked like a good team. I made a theme, not a theme song, but like... I made a tribute song to the Modern Day Warriors uh, on my YouTube channel. You can check it out. It's on there somewhere. And um, I was just a fan of them. I, they looked like a tag team. They wrestled like a tag team. They did it smart. And I was always wanted to get in the ring with them. But I wasn't a tag team wrestler. So it never really took place. And then um, one fateful night, I got to the show at, in, at the Alpine Club. And I looked on the, uh, the lineup sheet. And there it was, Elian Habanero versus Jimmy King. And I was excited, I'm like, but also nervous. I'm like, wow, I've seen this guy in the ring. I don't know if I can keep up, but I'm going to try my best. And the first time we wrestled, um, I really enjoyed it. I was like, man, this is the kind of guy I can wrestle every night. He, he's so professional. He does uh, justice to the crowd. He's, he's great. He, every, he's technically sound. I would like to wrestle him all the time. And then... Um, um, I don't know how long after, uh, PWA did the Canada Day Festival at uh, Riverside Park in Cambridge. And I got to wrestle him in a singles match and a tag team match as well. And I my respect for him grew even more than it had before, which I didn't think was possible. And man, he was, he was just, he's just such a pro. He makes everything look easy. Uh, he does everything well and he knows what to do and when to do it. And um, the last time I wrestled him, I wrestled him in Port Coburn um, probably about a month or two ago. And uh, I was really disappointed with my performance in that. But 
Jimmy King being in class act. And this is around the time I found out, like, a day after that he was retiring. And I'm like, what? If that was my last match against Jimmy King, I should have, like, I, sh I would have treated it way differently. But I, I didn't know. I, I was only informed of it after when they started promoting that Jimmy King wasn't going to be around anymore. And, man, tears actually came to my eyes. And I'm not just saying that. Like, I didn't full-on cry or blubber, but I, like... It made me reminisce about how good of a guy he was, and uh, I had tears in my eyes, and I was just like, man, it sucks that this guy's leaving. He's like one of the cornerstones of the locker room. Like, when I first started coming back, um, he was one of the guys always helping set up the ring, getting there early, always great with the fans, and I was just like, man, I aspire to be as good of a person as this per as he is someday, and... Um, I hope one day that that I could, and I still hope that. And I I know I'm being selfish here. Um, I mean, his body is not doing so well, and he has to retire. And he's getting up there in age, I guess, depending on who you ask uh, of when people are getting up there. But selfishly, I wish this was not it for him. I, I just hope, this is what I hope for, that he will come back. Um, that the itch will get to I'm gonna keep bugging him too I'm gonna message him like once a month and be like so when are you coming back are you coming back soon uh, maybe maybe you could just do a manager gimmick or a bodyguard thing like because I, I just don't it's not gonna be the same going to the PWA shows without Jimmy King there he's one of the people I look forward to the most he always uh, cheers people up he's always like in a good mood and he's never I've never seen him get angry or be like and not enjoying wrestling and that's what I like I love wrestling and I love Jimmy King being involved in wrestling so Jimmy King I don't know if you'll watch this if you do I appreciate you so much man I consider you a brother um I I know that uh, I'm like kind of socially awkward and so maybe you don't know how I feel about you but I really honestly think the world of you I I think you're one of the best people I've ever met in wrestling you're someone uh in my top 10 of people that I've wrestled that I would like to wrestle more and man I just hope the retirement tonight goes well enough how you envisioned it and um, that you get the proper send off you deserve and the fans give you what I feel you are worthy of so anyway let me know because what are your favorite Jimmy King matches and moments because as always on the Willu show I like to hear the comments because like or you get a leg drop comment or you get a clothesline subscriber you get a suplex i hope to see everybody out tonight in kitchener to celebrate the career of jimmy king i'm your host elian habanero i love wrestling cuba